You have several options to save your screenshot. You can download it as an image or a PDF. You can print it out or you can use the copy feature because maybe you just need to copy it real quick and put it in a Google document slide or send it in a Gmail. The awesome screenshot option I don't suggest because you're only able to share so many screenshots with the free version. So I don't suggest using this. If you have one of these services, you can use this option. But my favorite way to save screenshots is straight to my Google Drive. This way I have a shareable link that I can send to people and it's really quick and easy for them to just open up the screenshot. They don't have to download an image to view it. They can just click on the link and it opens it right from my drive. Okay, so we need to first connect our account with Awesome Screenshot. So we're gonna click on Connect with Google Cloud Storage. We're gonna choose Google Drive. Choose Connect with Google Drive. Windows gonna open up. We're gonna choose our account. It's gonna tell us the services that Awesome Screenshot wants to use in order for them to be able to save screenshots to our drive. Now you have this option here. The first one is to name it. I would suggest choosing a name that with words that you are going to look for later when you try to find this in your Google Drive. Then you wanna choose the location. It's either gonna to go to the root folder of your drive or I like to save all of my screenshots to my Awesome Screenshot folder. I set this up earlier in my options to always default to get a shareable link. You must have this box checked if you want Awesome Screenshot to automatically set the share settings for this so anyone with the link can view. If you don't want that and you only want specific people to view it, then you would uncheck this box, find the Awesome Screenshot image in your Google Drive and set the share settings yourself. So I'm gonna leave this checked, then you click on Upload. Once you do this, it'll just take a few seconds then it creates your link for you. You can click the word copy and you're ready to send your image.